Good morning, Marcus Whitman. Today is Thursday, December 2nd, 2021, and it's a C day. I'm Miss Taft, and here are your morning announcements. Let's start with a look at the weather with Earth Network Online Weather Center. Today, it will be mostly cloudy. Showers are likely mainly in the morning, highs in the low 50s. On Thursday, it will be mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. A chance of snow and rain, highs in the upper 30s. In the class over the today, I'm going to be focusing on how, as a building, we can be more productive and respectful with one another. In the classrooms, your behaviors are wonderful and you are really working hard to move forward academically. Please continue working on your interactions with one another and focusing on being positive and kind. We are all here to feel safe and supported, not only by the adults, but by our peers. Over the past month, we have had many an increase in all sorts of actions in our bathrooms that are not conducive for all students to use the facilities. The lavatory is a place that anyone should feel they can enter and exit without hesitation. Like our builder matrix says, enter, do one or number two, wash your hands and exit, and breathe only fresh air. You should not be congregating, vaping, invading the privacy of others, or leaving special notes for others to read later. Go in, take care of business, and exit. Plain, plain, simple, and basic task of life. Everyone here is old enough to understand this and follow through with this simple expectation. The fact that we are taking time to shut bathrooms down and monitor them is not productive, as in Pride in the Paw, and it's not a productive use of our time, and it's not respectful to all. We should be focusing on the welfare of our community and academics. That is why we are here. Secondly, in case this has not been clear prior to today, not only are students and staff expected privacy in bathrooms, but also in their learning and workspaces. This begins from the bus stop in the morning and goes until we arrive home at night. There is to be no picture taking or videoing of anyone in the building on our property or at school events without express permission from that individual or group. In addition, there is an understanding that nothing here is to be posted without the same consent. It disappoints me as your principal that I have to address these issues and I'm hoping we can go back to focusing on things like plays, athletics, chess team, and many other opportunities that we offer here at Whitman. Thank you for listening and let's continue on our quest for pride in the paw. And we're gonna start that with our 25 days of kindness from FFA. Today's act of kindness is tell a joke to spread some cheer. Now, here's a look at this week's meetings. Today, 10th period is music learning for the musical. They will be in the high school chorus room and jazz band will be in the high school band room. PBIS presents Slime a Teacher. We got our first 100 perks and we've got our teacher all ready to be slimed. Let's get another one. Let's get up to another 100. Turn them in at the PBIS store. Juniors, prom is just four months away and it's time to finalize the menu and theme. If you're interested in working on the prom committee, come to the meeting on Tuesday, December 7th in room 410 to discuss all the details of this epic event. Come learn to code during Computer Science Education Week, an hour of code. Coding activities will be offered during 10th period in the library on Tuesday, December 7th and Thursday, December 9th. Bring your Chromebook and your curiosity. See Mrs. Keller in the library for details. On a good note, Tuesday, our Marcus Whitman girls bowling team had a huge team win, 4-1 over a strong Penyan team. Our girls posted one of the highest single game scores in school history of 979. Kennedy Smith led the way with a high game of 235 in series of 631. Kendall Davis posted a solid 220 game and Michaela Armisen and Michaela Baker had a series of 517 and 503. Leah Aaron, Zoelle Payne and Chase Bond all contributed to the solid team effort. Way to go girls! Also on Tuesday, the boys' team lost to the strong Penyan team, but posted two very respectful team scores of 9.24. Austin King had a high series of 5.83 and a high game of 2.25. Tim Phillips had a solid 5.54 series. 
and Zachary Phillips contributed with his new PR and second high game for the team with a 204. Good luck next week, bowlers. Celebrating birthdays this week is our last one for the week is Dustin Christensen, our senior. His is Friday the 3rd. Happy birthday, Dustin. And here's a look at this week's events. That's it for today, Whitman. This has been Miss Taft in the blustering Rushville area with your WCAT news. And remember to be humble, kind, and kind to others. Have a great day. Bye, Marcus Whitman.